thanks very much. We're coming up on 7.15 this morning. We're sitting down with a New Orleans native and the current CEO of Carnival Cruise Lines. Uh, he has been credited with turning that cruise line around. Arnold Donald, he is in town for the New Orleans Business Alliance, their first annual meeting. Uh, so President and CEO Quentin Messer Jr. is here with a look ahead. And we were talking before we came on camera, uh, this is the first time you guys are doing this. And it seems like it, it, it's taken a while to get this done. No, you're right. Good morning. Thanks very much for having us. Um, a couple of reasons. His schedule is quite, quite hectic. So we so want to make, make sure you had Arnold. We want to make sure we want to do it first. We want to do it right. <laughs> but seriously, we're a year into uh, Mayor Cantrell's administration. We're launching uh, a new focus in the way we think about economic development, economic development reimagined. And we're very focused on our new tagline, culture, equity, prosperity. And we couldn't think of a better person to sort of personify how to make capitalism work for everybody. Than Arnold Donald. And business does seem to be booming when you see the change in the skyline downtown in certain parts of the city. I mean, it, it is pretty good. And then also, business is booming for the, for the cruise industry. The uh, cruise industry is doing great, but good morning and good morning, New Orleans. It's so great to be home and it's good to be with Quentin and the Business Alliance. But yeah, the cruise industry is doing very well. And so, w what, do you, what do you say at a conference like this to try and, and spur people on? Because they, they do want to hear your thoughts on business. Well, a lot of people like to hear about my personal story from New Orleans. Um, that's a little bit awkward for me, as you can understand and share. But, but it's um, a good story. It's a, it's a great story, but, you know, it's hard to talk about yourself. And then the second thing is they want to know more about the cruise industry and, and why is it growing and how can it, you know, help uh, drive small businesses and large business growth here in New Orleans. And we are seeing an expansion in the cruise industry. Car is Carnival adding more ships? Uh, we're always adding ships. We're taking on four new ships this year. But here in New Orleans, uh, we have the Valor and the Glory now for our Carnival brand. So we have nine brands worldwide. Yeah. And several of the other brands also make calls on the city. Um, but we'll we have over 400,000 guests. And um, Disney, our ships Disney is coming in next year. Does that help or hurt you guys, or is it good competition? I think it's good for New Orleans. We we like the other cruise lines coming in. Um, so Disney's coming. I, um, I think Royal has some ships here and some of the other um, lines as well. Uh, but anything that's good for New Orleans is good for us. And where are we seeing the most growth in New Orleans right now? I think we're seeing the most growth in a couple of industries. First, anything related to, to software development and technology. I really think of sleeper sector is really digital health. And I think uh, Mr. Donald's industry, the cruise industry, Brandy Christian, the folks at the port have done a tremendous job of diversifying. So I'm very excited about those three sectors. And, and the one thing we're not seeing, we're not seeing big jumps in population. We're seeing a building boom going downtown with new apartments and condos, things like that. But you wonder where those people are coming from. Well, those people are coming from a couple of different places. I mean, they're coming from a lot of people, uh, empty nesters are returning home, a lot of people buying second homes. Um, you also see really with population growth, the way our, our American economy is changing. You know, once upon a time, you know, 40, 50 years ago, you would have big manufacturing plants, and then all of a sudden you will have thousands of people move. But now with technology and automation, we don't really see that. But we are very excited about what the 2020 census is going to hold. I think you're going to be, people are going to be pleasantly surprised. So I'm excited. And you left New Orleans many years ago. You come back, you still see, see a family here. Oh, uh, and you're still on some boards here. Yeah, I'm on the New Orleans Foundation Board. And of course, well, we have ships here. So I, I come here to support our people and our ships and our guests. But w w what are some of the biggest changes you've seen? Because when you left this city, this was a fairly big city. The population was almost two or 300,000 more than it is now. You know, the thing for us is we have a drive market here in New Orleans, and, um, you know, you have 40 million people within an eight-hour drive of New Orleans. And so my orientation around that, because of my business, is that, you know, this is a mega center, you know, for us, for cruise. For the city itself, um, you, know, you know, Katrina, you know, was a major hit, but yeah. it was also a major point of transformation for the city. And my personal observation and work with the New Orleans Foundation and with our ships, and, and guests coming here is that New Orleans is, is prospering and is starting to grow and uh, you know the population thing may be a little bit of a challenge as by the nature of the change in, in um, businesses uh, but the reality is the quality of life is what people are chasing. I think rising quality of life for New Orleans citizens is what we're all here for and I want to applaud the Business Alliance for the great work they do. Well, you, you did make a lot of national news because you've been credited with turning uh, uh, Carnival around, so yeah, uh, kudos you. to you and what you've done. Thank you very much, Eric. All thank right, uh, and, and the, is, is this open to everybody, this, this uh, meeting? We're pleasantly uh, happy to say that it's sold out. Okay, But, right. but you can listen <laughs> you to go. it, and, and if we can get them to come back, we're going to do All it right. again. We'll remind it. Uh, for more information about the uh, New Orleans Business Alliance, we've got a link to their website on our website at wwltv.com. Just click on links.